Hey guys, done the uh, field today and um, it's challenge day but the challenge that I wanted to try um, unfortunately at the very top field <clears throat> there's uh, a load of sheep so I can't really extend out. I really wanted to get out to uh, 800 yards uh, but unfortunately with, with those sheep there it's just um, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to do that. So, the challenge is, um, I was going to shoot a golf ball, or attempt to shoot a golf ball at 800 or just over 800 yards. Um, so, what I'm actually doing now, I've come back into the field that I normally shoot in, and uh, so just a, this is just going to be a, a kind of warm up to that challenge. Um, I've got the 6x47 uh, lapper with me today and I'm going to put out two golf balls now um, on some pegs and I want to see if I can try and get them or hit them with the, uh, the Nosler 130 grain RDFs. So I've set up the, uh, the two balls there which um, I'll zoom in on that so you can actually sort of see that uh, where they are. Uh, but there's a camera down there so that should pick up the uh, impact hopefully um, I've had this challenge in my head for quite a while um, that I wanted to do the 800 yard challenge uh, with the golf ball but like I said when I get the chance to do it I'll um, I'll just gotta wait for the right day and um, <laughs> I'll, I'll try and get that done but for now this is just a bit of a warm-up practice so we've got Two golf balls, 432 yards. Um, let's just give, give it a crack, see how many shots it takes me at this range, which is um, hopefully, <coughs> if my ballistics are on, they, they should go where I'm aiming, I hope. So let's see if we can get it done anyway. So I'm just uh, bring up the, the ballistics. And I've already punched the numbers in. Um, it's probably no more than a three mile an hour wind, but I think it's coming from behind, so that shouldn't be too much um, an issue. Um, so look, we've got 6.3. I'm going to give that about six and a half. And. Um, Like I said, can't really sort of see any wind at the minute. Um, I've put no wind flags out there. This is just going to be totally cold bore. Okay, so let's see if we can get it done. Like I said, totally cold ball.
So I'm going to go for um, the one on the right. My right. It's just gone over to the right hand side. So I'm going to push left. Just one click. Oh. Just a little bit over the top. I mean they're right there Ever so slightly over to the right again. A little push left. Just that one. More. This is shot five. Shot six. Come on. Harder than I thought. <laughs> I mean, when I do get to uh, take that challenge on the 800 yard golf ball, um, I'm going to have a nice kind of like big piece of um, steel behind it as well, and that should help um, see where my, my hits are. But, um, I mean, like I said, I mean, it is right there, it's only just missing. Seven. I mean those um those golf balls aren't going to drop off there. I mean, they've actually been screwed on, so I really do need to uh, to hit them. Um, centrally, hopefully, it would be nice to see what uh, what happens. Two shots left. Oh my god. And they're just missed. 
thing. Come on. Just drop it down and click. That's ten shots. So close. I mean, ballistically, they're, they're spot on. I mean, they're going exactly where they need to go. It's just not quite tight enough. Shot 11. I can't believe how much I'm just missing these balls, this ball. Just a little bit more wind pick up now. So about, about an inch of wind. I think I just snapped the um <laughs> snap the peg. Just a tad low. Gonna hit the peg. Like I said, I, I'm not far away from these on this target but uh, it really is harder than uh, than it looks I've got two shots uh, left this is going to be uh, so that was shot 13 I mean, if anything, it's just been great to get out some, um, to get some more trigger time in anyway, so. But, um, if anyone who wants to try this at uh, 400 plus yards, you know, see how many shots it takes you. Two shots. I mean, it's not like I can't see the target because I can see it really clear. Um, and sometimes, you know, you look at that big hole in that mound of earth 
and you're thinking, wow, you know, how the hell am I missing it? But Okay, so see if I can try and hit this one on the left. Oh, finally. Well, sorry guys, it took longer than I thought. But at least, that, hopefully the camera's picked that, uh, that shot up and um, I'll see if I can slow that down and see if we can get the impact on that. Sorry it took me 14 shots to, uh, to hit those golf balls, but um, it's definitely given me something to think about now for that challenge that I want to do. I'm going to have to get everything right for uh, 800 yards or maybe even slightly over 800 yards depending on where I can set up on the field. But, uh, you know, just for the hell of it, this one last round. Let's see how close I can get to the uh, to the peg. go for the one on the left because it's slightly bigger than the one on the right. And in fact, the peg is actually about as thick as the crosshair. <laughs> got that. I think. I can't quite tell because there's like a big hole there. But if I got it, I'll take it. Whew. Well, okay, so it's 15 shots, golf ball, 432 yards. I mean, yes, I wanted to do it in 10 shots on the first one, but, you know, it didn't happen. Um, because that's what that challenge will be to try and hit that golf ball 800 yards or plus within 10 shots but um, I'm more than happy with the RDFs um, at that range 432 yards I know it's not it's not massive yardage yes I know but still good practice and I'm still glad I came out to, to try it so catch you guys on the next one and hopefully at some point on that big challenge see you later